I'm sure I do. What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. And why didn't you say something sooner? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. You know, she does have a point. Does Harkin even care about you anymore? You know, I've asked myself the same thing. I hoped that if he saw me, he might feel something again. But I guess I don't really factor in at this point. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. So where is this Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. it sounds like she was being cautious. I can hardly fault her for that. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? I have one, actually. Because... I would assume the last place that he would look would be somewhere obvious. Right under his nose, for example. That's usually the last place people look for things, right? Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Isn't that rather risky? Staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. They're not going to let us use the front door. Not after... Well, me. <laughs> Great. Any other ideas? True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. All right. Let's get to it then, shall we? It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. Right. Do we intend to travel overnight? I know one of us can see in the dark. And I know one of us can't see... Barely anything, even in the daytime. We might as well. Try not to trip over the vampire corpses. Right. Can do. It should be fine, right? As long as I can actually hear the two of you moving. Fair enough. And if Serana is with us, I'll be able to hear her, even if I can't hear you. Don't ask me how a vampire makes more noise than you do, but... In fairness, she's been stuck in a crypt for... What was it? A hundred years? Thousand? Gods, I hope it hasn't been a thousand years. Who knows? Indeed. I have a proposition. No, 
Oh, really? Not like that. <laughs> I was going to say we take a cart to solitude. That I can get behind. We must have a death wish. Where'd you so come from? Ah! That'll teach you. Oh, I do so love getting ambushed. Behind you. Where'd you come from? Any others? I certainly hope not. Where did they come from? They were hiding in this ruin here. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be sleeping much. On my way... North. No, I'm definitely with you. I do not like... Being ambushed like that. And it's very easy to do. Indeed. I think we should be in the clear. Yes? Sir, what did you need? I need you to let us know if you see anything like that. That was... Fun. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Indeed. Well, the good thing about traveling in the middle of the night is that... We got past Northwatch without issue. And you didn't freeze yourself again. Indeed. So, where are we at? Uh... You said it was around the side. Do you need something? Nope, just your help. After all... I can't wait to see the courtyard again. Indeed, I was going to say you're the one that knows this castle. And with luck, we aren't going to get ambushed by any more vampires. I'm somewhat amazed that the cart didn't get attacked on our way here. But I suppose... Right, you will need to be very loud because of the surf and whatnot. Sorry, I will try to keep yeah, talking. Just around this bend. Good. I will try to keep talking so that you can keep track of where I am. There are it hasn't looked so big from down here. I mean, it is big, but well even bigger. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I will take your word for it. Oh, careful here. It's mostly water. Of course. Do you know how to swim? I do indeed. Careful. And they've seen us. Who is they? Looks like Draugr. Or skeletons. Where'd you come from? Remember how to fight. Done and done. Sira. Oh, you're up there. All right. Well, that was just delightful. I assume we're going to be dealing with even more undead as we go in there, just because, you know, vampires. Say that with any more raw scathing and I'll be 
Worried about Serana's opinion of us. <laughs> I'm sure we're fine, right Serana? I will take that non-answer as an answer. And I will take care of the skeever. Where'd you come from? That'll teach you. So, this castle has illusions on it, I take it. What happened? Oh, nothing to concern yourself with. You know, a number of times in my life that I've been told that I shouldn't concern myself with something. In this case, it really is nothing. If you say so. The old water cistern. On some days, this would smell just... Be glad you weren't here, then. Well, this is a horrible spot to try to get an arrow out from. Oh, and be aware. Death hounds. And that's also Sarama's skeleton. I did figure. Who's there? That'll teach you. All right, well. Where'd you come from? Done. And done. That's your dog, Serana. I know. I heard something. Where'd you come from? Metal. Who's there? What was that? A bucket. Ah, lovely. And also a vampire. Of course. What was she doing down here? She was, in fact, breeding death hounds under Harkin's nose, it would seem. To what end? Vengeance. Fair enough. I don't really want to take any potions lying around here. Just in case. I'm sure it's fine. I'm not sure it's fine, actually. It's sort of... Well, it smells... It smells a bit bloody. And I don't like that. Up here. This is one of those weird double-barred security measures that my father put in when he got more paranoid. If we follow that path around, we can find the other switch. Where'd you come from? Done and done. Hello. I was going to say, where did you think? Where are we going? I thought she said take a left. I just want to clear the area, if I can. Okay. I think we're clear, at least for now. delightful. Oh, 
Ah, spiders. Where'd you come from? You're right, Myth? Indeed. I'm distracted by the spider noises and not paying attention. Ah. Lovely. Don't think about what you're stepping on in here. Um. Why does that sound ominous? Uh. Um. Like I said, don't think about it. I'm thinking about it anyway because that's just how my mind works. Thank you, Mill. Who's there? That'll teach you. Disgusting. Are you all right? Yes. What did you need? Well, it spat in my face, but otherwise I'm fine. Wonderful. <laughs> oh! Warn me before you do that. Sorry. Ah, oh, that figures. What figures? Out of lockpicks. You do know how to pick locks, don't you? I do. Oh dear. I'm alright. I doubt that. Have one of these. Thank you, Myth. That dagger of yours really does... some damage. Right. And we are not exactly in the place where I would like either of us getting damaged. Who knows what sorts of... Be careful not to run into any of these... Spiked defense alarm measure things. I will do my best. I'm also very this lucky that I have courtyard. Just head for the door. Heavy armor. Thank you, Serana. I will make sure you're well out of the way next time. That would be very much appreciated, Myth. Thank you. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Are we the first to set foot here in centuries? This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. Sort of seems like it. Great. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. I'm waiting. Indeed. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. A moon dial. I can't say as I've ever heard of such a thing. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Can I ask what's special about it? Well, as far as I'm aware, it's the only one in existence. 
The previous owners of the castle had a sundial in the courtyard, and obviously that didn't appeal to my mother. She persuaded an elven artisan to make some improvements. You can see the plates that show the phases of the moons, Masser and Secunda. Does it work? That seems like sort of an unreliable thing, given that the moons don't always appear at night. That's the thing. What's the point of a moon dial? I always wondered why she didn't just have the whole thing ripped out. But she loved it. <sighs> I don't know. I guess it's like having a piece of art, if you're into that sort of thing. Right, so what exactly am I going to... What are we looking for? Hard to say. Maybe if we found the missing crests, we could figure it out. Fair enough. Look around for the missing crests. Even in this mess, they should stick out. I did see one, I think. Oh, good. I'm glad one of us has... I'm sorry, I will stop... ...being bitter about it at some point, I'm sure. It's just... You know... It's all catching up to me. It has been catching up to me, but it's... It comes in waves, you know? Indeed. Right. That's one. And now we just look for... however many more there are. Now well, there's two. And a... vase. Did you have to go waiting? <laughs> Sorry about that, I probably should have warned you. It's fine. I am slowly getting used to surprises. Found another. Good, good. We're making progress. I have to say, being able to hear all of the sounds echoing around the courtyard is a bit eerie. Indeed. This one's missing. That one is not missing. Oh, I see. Oh? It... It has a ring, and each half is a... F it represents the phases of each moon. It's not all the way around. Huh. Oh, you've done something. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I'd bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Stairs. Stairs? Well, stairs are good. Lead on. I am. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Absolutely lovely in here. Careful. Uh huh. Oh, and it's also covered in blood. Hello, I'm. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Besides leftovers? Ah! Oh, did you have to phrase it like that? I suppose I didn't. Ah, well. Uh huh. Where'd you come from? Sarah, I'm all right. What have you got? More or less. That'll teach you. Sorry, that's fine. We're fine. It's 
So Ron has the right of it, we go stealthily. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to be difficult to keep track of, just so you know. I don't like the sound of that. Why? Because I can... pull myself across a room through shadows, and there are rather a lot of shadows in here. Fair enough, but why? Easier to attack things that way. Right. I hate gargoyles. But at least I can hear them coming, I suppose. That's a... That's a good thing, right? I suppose. Oh. Who's there? <laughs> Ah, oh, that was a bit of a creepy laugh, Myth. Are you alright? Oh, it's fine. It's just my magic doing interesting things. Can you control it? Oh, not interesting like that. Automatically lighting braziers. Very nice. Where did you come from? Done and done. I heard someone up there. Yes, I did. I think I can reach. Nope. Worth a shot. <laughs> I suppose. Who's there? Serana. Oh, well. Sarah, don't run ahead. Damn it. You're not I've getting got it, it's fine. Me. Ladies. Oh. I'll let you handle that one. Fine. Done and done. I'm going to take a wild guess about that statue over there. Oh, more gargoyles? We're getting close. I'm sure of it. I suspect so. Well, this has been lovely. Any moment now. Hello? I guess not. You were ready. I was... I knew it. Oh. Where'd you come from? Serana? The only problem with your necromancy is that I can't tell if it's yours or just ambient to the castle. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Uh-huh. Ambient to the castle. I have to say it, I admire your wording. Where'd you come from? That'll teach you. There we are. Bastards.
Of course. Cornered by skeletons, because why not? Hello, Mara. Who's there? Oh. Um, I assume that's not who you were talking about. Nope, we have more skeletons and... Serrano's, of course, adding to them. Oh! I'll let you get that one. Hello. That is Serrano's skeleton. Where are those no, you don't. coming from? I think we've got all of them. Probably. Alright. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, Saran is also in the way, isn't she? Maybe a bit. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. If you would get out of the way, please. Thank you. Right, there's no way to through here. Hmm, an armory. Anything good? Mostly old and rusted. And some potions, which... I think, given our track record so far, we probably need. Maybe a bit. Any ancient lock pits lying around? I'm sure they'll hold up. we been this way. I don't think we have. We definitely haven't. I found the way we're going. There's Serana. There's Sira. I'm keeping up. Frankly, I'm sort of glad I can't see much in here. Except that we all keep tripping over bones. And that's not very pleasant. Very pleasant to think about. Aren't you... Um... You know... You kill people, right? For your day job? I don't seem to be doing much of that these days. But yes. However, there's just something... Ineffably creepy. about wandering around and tripping over somebody's bones. Feels... disrespectful. Who's there? Behind us. Done and done. She resurrected one. Okay, good to know. Who's there? Hello. I forgot she resurrected one, even though I just said it. I feel like this one is going to- I don't think we've reached the top yet. I bet there's some kind of secret passage around here. Lovely. I'm expecting that one to hop off the wall at any moment. Uh-huh. I will keep my ears peeled. They're not exactly stealthy. Indeed. Hello. What did you find? Getting close. I'm sure of it. A silver sword. I'm not much of a swordsman, more of a dagger man myself, but... Given that we're dealing with vampires... Might as well, right? I think so. Stop. 
stay well back, please. Oh. I'm not sure I like the balance We're of getting it. close. I'm sure of it. I also picked up some vampire armor. Just in case. In case of what? Not like either one of us could disguise ourselves as a vampire. Fair enough. Ah. Leave it to my mother. Always smarter than I gave her credit for. What? You've never encountered a turning candlestick before? That's classic. There's a draft here. I assume that means we're getting closer to the surface again. That would be very nice. Oh. Serana? What have we found? What? Oh! Candles? What is this place? Look at this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Uh, describe to me what was she? Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? Your guess is as good as mine. Probably better. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. Right, what exactly are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Oh! Lovely. So, did your mother keep gargoyles around? Is that what that was? Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... Not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. Look, just because I'm from Morrowind. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. Good idea. Your mother maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room. But nothing that even comes close to what's here. What did she research? Or oh, just necromancy? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. Of course. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Indeed. Were you always a vampire? I would assume not, but... That's... a long story. You know, I'm... a bit curious. Do we have time? I guess... we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Um... I do. It came from a Daedric prince. Right. Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Bal. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Bal is a powerful Daedric lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. I don't want to ask. Do you regret becoming a vampire? Nobody's ever asked me that before. I... I don't know. I think... mostly I hate what it's done to my family. It's certainly... from the outside. Doesn't seem like a particularly healthy situation. I will... Hold my tongue on that. How has it affected your family? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. 
And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. Indeed. Are you alright? I will be. Just give me a little time. Ouch. You know, situations like these make me realize that my family... You know, outside of the whole Thalmor thing. I, I suppose it could have been worse. We won't talk about home, shall we? For either of us. You know, I like that. Right, what are we looking at around here? Lots and lots of bones. And books and alchemy things. And a giant stone circle in the middle of the floor. Which looks to me like some sort of... I don't know, magical portal. Great. So if we're looking for a journal... Thank you for remembering. We should look where the books are. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Is there anything like a... A study or a reading nook? Something? Potentially. A Daedra heart. Oh, that could be useful. Assuming either one of us is a smith. Well... I'm certainly not. This looks more promising. Ah, uh, let's see. Journal is going to be probably small. Found it. I did find it. What does it say? She was working on something. Something about communing with the ideal masters, whoever that is. Soul Cairn? Does any of this seem familiar to you? Vaguely. I'm sure I've read something about it, but I can't place... where or why. There's also an ingredients list. Oh. I will leave that to you then. Serana. Any luck yet? Indeed. We found your mother's notes. You did? Let me see them. What is this soul care that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Question. Why did she care where used souls went? The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. If she made it there, that's where we'll find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. What do we need? I remembered the bone dust. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Ah, oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Now, this could be sort of out there, but you are her daughter, right? You are her blood? Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Are all of those ingredients here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Great. I don't like the idea of gruesome portal accidents, frankly. That makes two of us. I'll be the one to test it. Are you sure about that? 
I mean... What if something happens? Then I can shadow step myself back out again. Probably. <laughs> that doesn't exactly fill me with confidence, Miss. I'm aware. It doesn't exactly fill me with confidence either, so that makes two of us. Mm hmm. Lovely. Wonderful. You know anything about enchanting? Uh, uh, sort of. Vaguely. In theory. Probably. So, nothing practical. That. We'll go with that. Same with alchemy. I was never really... Alchemy and I don't mix. Funny. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. Alright. There you go. Good luck. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Think we're ready. Are we ready? <laughs> uh, no, let's do it. Okay, here goes. Oh boy. You didn't have to- By the blood of my ancestors. She actually did it. Created a portal with a soul can. Incredible. Oh, I can feel that, whatever that is. A portal to the soul can. It's giving me a headache just looking at it. Ah, lovely. Wonderful. <laughs> so... For now what? You stay here. Of course. You're going to go stick your foot in that, aren't you? I am. Don't follow me. Well, I don't know about you. You might be alright. Don't suck me in. Are you alright? That looked painful. I don't know if I could call that painful. It wasn't exactly a physical pain. What was that? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. Great. So there's no way in, then? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. <laughs> oh no. So you're saying that we would need to become vampires to go through there? Not your first choice, I guess. There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Um... Now, I'm no expert in this, but wouldn't that kill us? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Oh, I don't like the sound of that maybe. Is that really our only two? Those are the options. Soul trapped. Or vampire. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody.
Okay. Well. This has certainly turned into something interesting, hasn't it? Indeed. I know we've talked about the whole... What would we do if one of us were a vampire thing? No. No? Neither of us are getting turned into a vampire. I refuse. What if it fixes your eyes? I don't think it works like that, Myth. I'm... Obviously, I'm not sure. I... I don't know. But... Being a vampire comes from Molag Ball, of all people. I refuse. You know what? That is a very good point. No offense, of course. I know you're a Dunmer and Daedra are sort of... a thing that you... Not that Daedra. Good. Very good. Wonderful to hear. So our choice comes down to being soul trapped. Yes. I'll go first. After all... I wonder if... What are you thinking? Uh... Never mind. I don't want to send you in there alone. I was thinking that since you have multiple souls, dragon souls, you might be alright in there. But I'm not going in I'm not going in without you, and I'm not going to make you go in there alone. So have you made up your mind? I think so. Neither of us would feel right as a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the Soul Cairn. You know what? I think we're both strong enough. I'm ready if you are. Well, I'm sure this is going to itch a bit, but yes. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. Let's just get this over with. As you wish. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. <laughs> 